Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 using a special sub-mod called Star Wars Palpatine's Gamble. And today we're beginning our journey as the Confederacy of Independent Systems led by a big old daddy Count Dooku. God, I love Count Dooku, but we'll begin with the Sith plot. After 1,000 years of peace in the Galactic Republic, times are tense and the galaxy is yet again on the brink of war. Corruption and inequality has spread across the Republic. We bring new light to the neglected worlds left in the shadow of the core worlds, and we will serve the Republic justice for this bitter oversight, which we get political power and some more war support. Now, we only have 350 million credits, and with some decisions here, something about Grievous, we should make him a warrior or a protector. I'm not really sure what this does, but it seems... Okay, so I'm going to try this just slightly, slightly off screen, and protector, warrior, let's try warrior and see what happens. So, we can build him as a warrior. That could be kind of cool. And we're, we actually only have this little part here, Count Dooku's Palace, Northern Sereno, as an actual base of operations, which kind of sucks, but I have a feeling eventually we might get a little bit of a commerce skill to work with, but you never know. However, let us let time go on as we see the Dangerous Ideas Act failed to pass. Very good. And a fleet of Panama. Placeholder. We must reunite through bloodshed. Cool. And we can immediately tear up tech. No, we cannot. We're currently making 2.4 uh, credits every single day. And we're locking quite a bit here. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and begin making, or at least buying, a ship. We don't have many options. We're going to go and buy this one, though, just because we can spend the money for it. And we can start trading it. Hopefully, at least. And this is a... I think just a, yeah, basically a destroyer. So, that's okay with us. Do we have any Admiral? Yes, we do. We actually have Admirals. Oh, that's not too bad. Yes, Admiral Trench. Yes, please, for the love of God. And train, 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 because we want a lot of naval XP so we can get our naval doctrine done so we can beat all of our enemies up, which would be nice. We currently get 1.14 political power every single day. We get, like I said, 2.4 million credits every single day as well. Doing this would be okay. It's not really worth it right now, but I think we'll wait. So, we got the one ship, and actually, because we are the CIS... We definitely, definitely will need some battle droids. Because that's all we can make. B1 battle droids. Which have no stats. <laughs> no soft attack or anything. Oh no. But we also have AAT tanks. Which are made up of armored assault tanks. As well as multi-tube transports. Which are not bad. That's just really good. The armor is great. Soft attack is great. But I'm wondering. Eventually. If we have battle droids. What if we instead just made. Just threw in one tank division. That might be the much cheaper way out. Because this. Requires a lot of this. These things do require Oom um, battle droids as well as armored assault tanks, so we'll see. But let's at least get some research going. And by research, which means we just want the technology unlocked. So now we might be able to see what we can do, but the Sith plot is done. The Idealist, more political power, or the Separatist Council. Let's do the Idealist first. The Idealists of the galaxy are new, beacon of hope for the neglected people of the Outer Rim. Their core values of economic equality and justice for all reign supreme to the grim rule of the Galactic Republic. So with our new PP, we have an elusive gentleman we can get eventually. Can we create an intelligence agency? We cannot, which is big sadness hours, but we can jump straight to war economy, apparently. Yay! <laughs> and we can get Trunch a naval theorist, which would be very good for our naval XP. Uh, anything else here unique? Really? No, doesn't really look like it. God, I love Count Dooku so much. Starship manufacturer, that'll be alright. Naval manufacturer as well, as well as vehicle manufacturer, not bad. Military staff, we do have Grievous for offense. Naval chief, of course, Trunch, which will be very good to use. We have, oh, Ventress, oh yes. I've not seen Ventress in a long time. And Lock Durd, more artillery attack and defense, which we might not really use. I don't know if we can attach artillery on, but Ma Took would be very good to get. And we've just finished the Idealists. Get even more political power. Launch a massive propaganda campaign to expose the corruption of the Galactic Republic. Onderon? We'll be closer to secession. Joblin, let's do the Separatist Council. With the Separatist Council, we'll be able to control even the most important companies, which will be super good. So the following will be pushed during the Confederacy upon its creation. Techno Union, Trade Federation, Genosis, the Banking Clan, Commerce Code, and Karan. Nice! Awesome. We do have four research slots, which is extremely good. Because I played as Mandalorians before, and they only had one. Or two. I mean, two research slots. They had two whole research slots, which is not very good, but... It looks really bad in the position we're in right now. We're already on medium-sized force. That's actually really bad. But, eventually, we will be able to... Let's do that one, too. Um, get a bigger planet. And that's why I was looking down here. Because we, I think we do get the Commerce Code eventually. Korriban. God, I love Korriban. That's so much fun. But, we'll do Dock. Current Independence. Uh, Trade Federation. Investments. Ooh, oh, ooh, yes. Republic stuff. Yes. Get, some, get the industry done as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I'll grab some of that too. We can probably do some land auction as well. Uh, let's see. What are some of the best stuff here? Off-map factory stuff. On oh, 
The national spirits include members of the Confederacy of Independent Systems as well as unprepared industry, which is pretty bad. We probably want to get rid of that pretty quick, darn quickly. Gain production rights for the OOM and B1 battle droids. That's not bad. The Commerce Guild? We go to free... Tr ooh, ooh. Free trade, man. Ooh, consumer goods. That's not too bad. Purchase the planet Raxus from the Commerce Guild for 250 million credits. Ooh. Interest rates. Subsidies from the ICE NBC. Well, there's a lot of good stuff here. I do want to get rights for that. So let's go Techno Union. Okay, we'll get more political power. So we're going to need to keep some political power in here. We're going to see an alignment chart for, you know, everyone here. So I guess our goal right now is to make more money. That's probably super, super important. So this way we can tier tech, upgrade our tech as fast as possible. But since we're here, uh, if you didn't know, like, I didn't know anything about this either. Oh, we can close out this one. There you go. Cool. Um, you just click on him. It spends some, like, credits. So it costs, like, 20 credits to do this. So, hey. West Tambor pledges to support to the Separatists. The Sakoan leader of the Techno Union has pledged support for us and is reportedly interested in supplying our army. It's good to hear. Also, I do let you know that we're on uh, historical, I guess, just to make sure that the war does fire, so that'd be good. No missions from Palpatine, that's fine. And here's the Senate, but whatever. And we have that done great. So we got all the stuff going along. We are getting that done too. Radio. Uh, I always use superior firepower. I maybe want to try something else. Tanks and armor. Maybe we could try mobile warfare. Just because... Ooh, we get more organization for infantry. Armored rush. I do want to use tanks. My goal in this campaign is to use tanks within infantry divisions to give us some armor. I think that would be for the best. Modern warfare. Get even more organization, which would be very good. Um, yeah, not too bad. Is that all you get? Plus 5% non-core manpower? I'm not sure that's really worth it. Let's take a quick look at asymmetric, though. Um, it doesn't make... I don't think it makes too much sense for us to use asymmetric. At least for us, Lug Infantry. Does that include Battle Droids? It probably does. I wish these were all alphabetized so we could see them a little bit easier. Um, Arc Troopers get this. Uh, Senate Guard. Naboo Security Forces. I'm not seeing Battle Droids. Oh, um... Yeah, Wookie Berserkers get them. Maybe it's here. Maybe I'm just looking over it, but maybe not. Huh. All Frontline Battalions. Do you guys... Oh, it's over here. Uh, all infantry. Which include what? Does that include battle... Um, I don't know. Uh, Doug Warriors. Mandalorian Guards, of course. Hot Enforcers. I'm not seeing... I don't know if I see it. Uh, what is this? Reconnaissance gets more recon. More speed. A little bit more defense. Strengthen. Malicious. Not too bad. Fi so basically this side reminds me of... Uh, the last side here of Mobile Warfare. Last Stand. I don't know about Last Stand. That's not too bad. Delay. Not bad. More max entrenchment. Breakout. Breakout. Breakthrough priority. This looks like not too bad either. Ooh, I've already... I've always done superior firepower, but I do want to use some tanks. Maybe, we, maybe we'll try Mobile Warfare. But let's wait just a little bit longer to see what happens. Land speeders. Uh, I do want to get some more tech and such, so... Just go and get some of this. There you go. Cool. And apparently we can like pressure people to join the CIS, increase the session points. So let's come over here and look at Techno Union. Very nice. And then military industrial complex. By getting an industrial complex, our industry will be built up much quicker. And when in time of war, run it more efficiently. All right. So let's take a look. So what do we do about these guys? Is there anything else we can do about this? No. Well, it's a nice image of Grievous, but there's nothing else we can do. So yeah. Oh, here more session points. That got a lot of pee pee. If we're researching stuff, let's go with infantry equipment. That'd be kind of nice. And we need 50 pee pee to get more succession points, huh? Alright, well, whatever. After this one, we will do learn their techniques. Because, ooh, we need more political power. Well, maybe we shouldn't spend all that political power. Let's get some political power then. Dak. Uh, ooh, that's one. Instigate separatism in the Outer Rim. For far too long, the Republic has strengthened the inner core at the expense of the planets of the Outer Rim. We must run a massive campaign to highlight these disgraceful actions by the Republican Senate. Or the Republic Senate. Cool. So now we need more credits. So be it. So be it. And we're still only building two cities at a time, which is not very good. But we're getting still a good amount of money. I don't want to spend too much money yet, because we do need to buy at least one of these so we can use these guys. But modern machine tools are nice. Very, very good. Can we go down here yet? No, we cannot. Land Doctrine... Mm, we will be attacking a whole bunch. Mass Assault.
I don't know. I just we just don't see. I don't see battle droids. Unless it goes on like B1 battle droids or something. Phase one and two clone troopers. I'm sorry, I'm taking a while with this, but I don't know. If I don't see it there, this is probably a really bad idea. Uh, let's see. AA2 assault tanks do get this. ATUT SP artillery armored assault tanks and yeah. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at this. So you guys, they actually got some combat stats on there, which is nice. Oh, we have, we have a lot of uh, army XP. So just in case, let's just make these guys bigger. I'm going to try a campaign like this. So all I want is are these guys. Actually, we have no artillery either. I like this stuff. This looks really cool. I love the multi-two transports. I love it when they deploy. But it might make it a little easier for us if we just go like this. It lowers our organization a little bit. We can get more defense, more breakthrough, more armor, which should be more than enough to combat anyone's, uh, you know, trying to kill us off. So... That should technically be okay. I could be very wrong about that. And now we can't pair drop, which is kind of okay with me. You know, it is what it is. Um, cool. We'll try it out like this. And I want at least one division out there at all times. Just so we can start getting some army XP. Because we definitely need some more army XP. Screw it. Mobile warfare it is. Mobile warfare. Because why not? And we're getting more. And then we'll be ready for learning their techniques. Request the reproduction rights of the Techno Union's B1 and OOM battle droids. If accepted, this will allow us to produce these battle droids in our own factories, which will save us both time and... What's the credits? Ah, an invasion of Naboo. The situation here is not what it seems. There is something else behind all this, Your Highness. There's no logic in the Federation's move here. Oh, you never know what we're going to do. Dispersed industry, very good. Go and grab some of this. It actually won't even matter then, because that stuff looks okay. A little bit ahead of time. That's okay. That is totally okay. And unfortunately, you gotta skip the music or we'll get copyright struck, which really, really sucks. Um, let's grab dockyard output. Yeah, let's do that one. That'll be good. Nice. Stronger. We don't need speeder bikes for this campaign, which kind of sucks, but hey, we don't really need them. Oh, and make sure that when we repair. Well, we have no dockyards. Well, god dang it. So much for that plan. I'm trying to get more naval XP. We're still getting more, anyways. So that's not too bad. Mechanical computing is very good. And what's next? Director Fire. Kind of wait on that stuff. Ooh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Cruisers or Corvettes? Probably Corvettes, because they're pretty they're pretty fast. They're pretty darn fast. Let's get one of those guys going, too. And learn their techniques. And Newt Soundbar, Military Factory Construction Speed Factory Output. That's not bad. Uh, let's do... Let's do Commerce Guild, yeah. The Commerce Guild could be a great ally or a great enemy. We must secure our allies before the war begins. Absolutely. And we need at least 250 million credits at this time. But we can probably spend some of our PP, right? Aircraft. Probably fighters and fighter CVs. Uh, let's come over here and start influencing some more planets just in case. One more succession point for all these guys. Yes. Yes, yes. Anywhere else? Oh, there you go. And there you go. Cool. Hopefully we're doing the right thing there. After the commerce go, increase trade. In order to supply our war machine, we'll be forced to change our policy laws, which I don't really want to do, but, you know, it is what it is. We're not even making that much stuff anyway, so. And where are we? Uh, we're probably part of the Outer Rim, right? I don't think we're this south. Oh, where's, my, where's our palace? Oh, crap, I lost my palace. That's just, there's so many planets here. Or just come over here and do this. There you go. Cool, we're up here. Uh, we need to... Ooh, tear us up. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting actually very close. Yeah, foreign workers would be nice. We will start using foreign workers so we can use our industry more efficiently, which would be great. And tear up as fast as possible. Nice. No, we have no credits. So this way, we can get maybe, hopefully, one more factory, maybe? Maybe, 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 maybe? We're still getting 2.3 every single day. We don't have that much money. Uh, let's see. Infantry, we bought one of those. Task infantry? 2 million credits. Oh, nice. Oh, I love droid because they're heavy infantry. That's really cool. And I just want to get this, these tech unlocked. Just so we can use them and get them whenever we need to. So, it is now 976. Hope you guys are having a great year. Get some more construction speed. Get some more output. And grab some of this. And after Mobile Warfare, we'll go with Delay Doctrine. Nice. Cool. Anything else here? Yes, tech increase will be very, very good. Uh, naval manufacturer, you might as well. And, well, we got to wait for that now. The Commerce Pact. Uh, oh, we need some more credits first, though. Oh, wait on that. Uh, let's go to Onderon. As well as a well-populated mid-rim world, Onderon, Onderon has been led by its king for many years. This loyalist king must be dethroned and replaced with our puppet ruler that will do our bidding and lead Onderon to the Confederacy. Absolutely. 
followed up with probably Jablim or Jabim. The people of Yabim are no longer able to tolerate the ignorance. Oh, look at that. And oversight of the Republic Senate. The time is now to strike and grow our influences, stage a coup on the planet. Yabim was in an attempt to overthrow the corrupt in an attempt to overthrow the corrupt Republic seated government. The intergalactic banking clan seeks to join the CIS. Our plight to overturn the current world order has not escaped the notice of like minded nations. The intergalactic banking clan recognize that their best chance to carve out a prosperous future for themselves is to align with us and the coming conflict, and they therefore have offered to formally join us against our enemies. The world belongs to all who are strong. We're better off without them. We're better off without them. Beautiful. Anyway, more credits. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So we can spend some more money then. So we got all this stuff done, which is nice. Let's come down here and make sure we actually can have all these guys available whenever we need them. So boom, boom. There we go. Just in case we want to have them. And we'll get Tech 2 done eventually. I'm just buying this stuff for now. 2.339. That's not too bad. There we go. We're going to need a lot of these guys. Transports just in case. We can't buy Hyena Droids yet. And Onderon and Jelly Beam. Okay. Hey, we have a division. Nice. It's not much. But you're going to train indefinitely. And we're going to be led by Mr. Fatso. Oh, Commander Alpha Zo2 Spar. You look like Jingo Fat a little bit, but maybe that's just me. Pretty much train indefinitely. Logistics, we're going to need way more battle droids now. There you go. Oh, we only have a thousand there. Okay, that's fine. Fuel storage, not bad. Just to make sure we keep we keep training, 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 training. Oh, we also have some tanks, too. They're training as well, so that would be nice. Uh, cap? Yes, please. And follow it up with spread dissidents. Dis ah, dense, huh? Newt some more. Well, we don't have enough money yet. Let's do the Trade Federation. Oh, there's no description here. Well, you get 50 more political power, which is nice. Very good. We only have 10 factories. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Uh, spread out some influence points, maybe? Ombara, yes, yes. Kashyyyk. Oh, I love Kashyyyk. And now we have 233, which means up next we will go ahead and do the Commerce Pact. Serena will no longer cut it as our base of operations. We must buy Raxus and transform our operations there. This presents us with an opportunity to gain a new ally. And move our capital to Central Raxus. Awesome. Raxus. It's a little bit ahead of time. We can grab this one first. And then Land Doctrine is still coming along very nicely. And grab some Engineers. I like Engineers. Ah, see? This is what we want. We definitely want this plan so we can get some more... Uh, Stuff to use. Nice. Trade Federation. The Trade Federation did nothing wrong. Oh, and we could probably use a Field Marshal as well. Ah. Grievous Ventress. Asajj Ventress. Lo Lock Durd. Level 10. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's so good. Can we go to 11? Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We went all the way up to 11. Or I guess, yeah, it's still technically 11 because it's still minus 1 because I think he just got an upgrade. I don't know, whatever. Um, after this, oh, spread dissidents. I do want to do this one. We had to get all the way down to the Raxus address, but we got to wait since we're the ones doing that. Resource efficiency gain, less factory goods. Um, uh, ooh, that's a good, that's good to do. All right, and cool. Recon, military police, maintenance companies. Let's grab some of that. More soft attack would be good. A lot of soft attack. Investments. Our resource output is slacking, but with investments from the Trade Federation, we have more efficient resource output. Oh, yes, we got it. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's all core, too. Thank you, developers. Awesome, awesome. At this point, now we're making three and a half million, which is awesome. And then we're going to do... Oh, just build this entire area up, too. That would be really nice. Go to the bottom. And then we'll build up all the roads here, too. We have a lot of some sort of resources here. We have a lot of lantanide. Cool. All right, so we got this stuff coming along. B1 battle droids. So maybe we don't have to buy them. Someone was asking in a previous campaign I did if we can. Oh, we can make, oh, we can make these too. Yes, please. Um, just buy infantry equipment. I'm not sure if we can. I don't think we can, but I could be very wrong about that. Um, there you go. Something like that. We need more resources now. Holy crap. And we're gonna need some. Cruisers, what is this? Uh, well, this kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Get some radar on there. We do have a little bit of naval XP, so that's good. And throw some torpedoes on there, too, I guess. Yes, really kind of sucks, not gonna lie. It's alright, there you go. And make sure we got enough convoys, because we're gonna need a lot of convoys where we're headed. 
We're going to need a lot more resources, too. <laughs> now we can spend some money here. That's so not good, but it's going to help us out. Now we have actual base of operations to work with. After this one, Newt's and Boar. Eh, we could use more factory output. Yeah, actually getting more resources right now is very good, but indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. Cool. Oh, the Republic's increasing their tech level too? Well, that's good to know. So we did all of these already, I believe. So let's come over here. I think we did this as well. And then up here, we have the ships. I don't want to cost us too much yet, but it's good to prepare just in case by grabbing one of these. We don't have enough money for this. Can I buy one? Nice. Cool. There you go. Now we're out of money. Uh, at least we bought one. So that's good to do. And indentured servitude. We love it. Alright, so where are you at? Because we're going to have to buy a lot of these things. I don't want to buy too many yet just because it costs so much. <sighs> Landing craft? These are just transports, right? So we really need to wait for hyena class. So we'll go with a thousand for now. So we'll build up buy a lot of these guys. No matter what the cost is. Because we get roughly 3.7 every single month. so Or almost every single day, really. We're going to have to buy a lot of these. Just go ahead and auto-buy them. Hopefully that just keeps buying them then. Is it bought yet? No? Come on, keep buying, keep buying. Um, and you guys, you just need tanks. Really, that's it. So We don't need a massive army. What we need is a quality, strong, strong army. Um, we're using these tanks, AAT, so. Let's buy them all. We're going to need them. So. And over here... 3.7. Nice, nice, nice. It's so nice having quite a few research slots. Oh, it's so, so good. It just feels so good. Uh, what do we want? Uh, we're just still doing okay over there. I'll uh, grab that one too because you can. Old Republic tanks. Now we're kind of okay for now. Cool. Indentured servitude. And Ma Tuck. Let's do. Yeah, we don't want Ma Tuck as a capable fleet commander who can prove of use to the Confederacy. We will request him to become a marshal. Now, it doesn't look like we have a lot of... Oh, we need way more tax. We more credits, I mean. doesn't seem like we have a lot going for us. But I think we'll do okay in the end anyways. We'll probably do okay. Hopefully. At least that's my hope. I could be completely wrong. Get some planes. And get some other planes too, just in case. Bombers would be nice. Extinction class. Now, that's a nice extinction, extinction class. Anything else for this stuff? I guess we can do some tank research, I guess. It won't really do too much for us, but hey, that's okay. And we might go to limited exports next. Yeah. As much as I love the bonus to construction speed and factory output. Oh, baby. It's not looking too good. Oh, we need way more battle droids. Look at that. Wow. There you go. 3.7 a day. Not bad. Not too shabby. You're on auto buy. That's good. Task infantry. There you go. Two hundred million. I want more of these, but we definitely need more of these here fighters. Cool. And Geonosis. The Confederacy requests a foothold on Geonosis. Let's do spread dissidents. You get more stability. We must continue to run massive campaigns across the galaxy to point out the hypocrisy and ill treatment of outer rim worlds by the Republic Senate. Absolutely. We still are lacking more battle droids. Boom, battle droids. So, huh? B one battle droids, I guess. Because the task infantry is what. If we do that. We're still making them, so that's not too bad. The credits, it does cost a little bit, but now we have more than enough. And then some more. Oh, we are tier 2, so that's actually not too bad. Uh, tactical droids. Cool. 976. And go get some more dispersed industry, because we could really use that. How are our ships? Still training, still training, which is totally fine with us. And actually, since we're here already, let's go buy some hyena class stuff. I want to build. Buy, 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 buy. What is this? Oh, uh, Republic Tech increase. That makes sense. Uh, we have fighters here. They're both capital ships, which is not too bad. But honestly, we're just gonna buy the capital ships, so we don't really need to make them. So that'd be okay with us. Anything here? Anything there? Anything over here? Nope. All right then. Outline corruption costs a lot of credit, so we might need to save some more credits up. We already have 350 though. 340 dock. We'll support the Karn should any war break out. Oh, uh, actually, are we ready for that? I don't know if we're ready for that one yet. Let's do this one instead. Banking clan. Cool. Closer to secession? Yes, please. Because we do have a small, tiny little fleet. As we're trying to build up a bigger and bigger army. We just got to keep an eye on our logistics here. 
Vulture droids, definitely. Mortars would be nice. Actually, let's go over here. Can we do that? Yeah, let's get some better infantry equipment first. Not bad, not bad. Civilian investments, yes, please. Construction, keep building, 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 building. Uh, that'd be really good to do. Let's do that one. And any other points we can shove into people? So we can get them to align with us. Um, oh, wait. Well, we need to do this one first. Black Sun. No hope under the Black Sun. Umbra again, maybe? Kashyyyk, maybe? 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 We'll see. We need more money, too. Outline corruption. We'd like to do that, but we will. The law making it in the Republic Senate is all about credits. Politicians do not care about your well-being. They certainly don't care to make the best decision. They will simply make the decisions that will further their lives. The Republic Senate has been stuck in gridlock for years while many people are being neglected by their own representatives with no way to make change. It's time to drain the swamp. Nice, that's kind of funny. Haha. <laughs> and here we have it, my friends. We're currently doing better interest rates, which unfortunately has no description, but we did already finish outline corruption, costing us quite a few caps. Caps. No, this, this isn't old world blues, but a few, quite a few credits, I should really say. In which we do need to import a, a little bit more fuel, just so we can actually do some things. But we're doing quite well, building up quite the army, I would say, right now. We have Dispersed Industry 3, and we're slowly getting over to... Starting the war, really. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, you can't give me some goods, then... Well, we'll go somewhere else, then. But right now, we're, we really, really need more resources. So I think, as much as we love free trade... We might get rid of it and request subsidies. Nice. Because it's great that we're building up a lot of battle droids every single day. Oom battle droids are looking quite good. We need more infantry equipment, support equipment, but we just need resources. That's literally it. And infantry equipment too is good. And you know what? Let's grab let's grab some extraction. How about that? Excavation 2 sounds really quite good. And then grow closer. By getting closer with a banking clan, we can make sure our industry will be ready for war, along with being able to repair itself quickly. Nice. And let's go ahead and grab... I want to do free trade, but we really need those resources. We don't get... Oh, well, we really don't get any anyways, but I don't want to import... I want to import the least amount as possible, really. Ooh. We're going to need to conquer a lot of other enemy nations. We're going to need a lot more money. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more money. Uh, I like the bonuses. I really do. Construction speed and factory output. It gets slashed by so much, but limited exports... Uh, I don't want to import too much because currently the thing that's hurting us the most is actually a military factory upkeep, then naval factory upkeep. Wow, I don't know. Naval factories actually cost us that much, but okay. We get some more attacks, attackers, and bombers, which we will definitely use in our war. Let's see, fighters, yes, and bombers go boom. Usually. Cool. And we probably need a few more ships here, too. Uh, make sure we keep doing this. Good, good, good. We can't buy any more, which kind of sucks. And we're out 200, which is honestly not that bad. One, minus 100. We don't make any tanks, which is kind of a bad thing, but I think we're doing relatively okay with what we have currently. Growing closer. Very good. We'll go through all these before we go to war, so. Dak. We'll support the uh, Quran. I say we do that eventually. Newt Sambor. By getting Newt Sambor and his techno union on our side, we can make sure our industrial output will be the most efficient. Because with this one, they'll end up in a civil war, which is not very good. Cut on. Uh, yeah, actually, where we're at currently is not too bad. We need to buy some more uh, ships, though. All right, so let's get at least one more of these. Three, four, five. There you go. Uh, we do at least having tech level two is pretty darn decent, I would say. There we go. Nice. Uh, could buy one of these. Buy one of these. No. Yes. Something like that. We're going to be running out of credits very quickly. Whew. But getting at least two task forces is going to be crucial for us. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Do that. Train as well. You guys. Definitely you're going to need a lot more planes. Definitely, 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 definitely. And we need hyena class bombers, so just max that out for now, and then max that out as well. And But they're out of stock all the time, which really sucks, though. So. Let's focus on getting way more money. Construction 3 is good. Uh, 4 yet? No. Let's get some more cap, then. Get more cap. Hey, look at that map bar, though. That map bar is looking quite yummy, yummy, yummy. And let's do DAC. We'll support Karan should anywhere break out. We want to do that one just because at this point our army is looking actually pretty darn decent. 20 combat with. We got one tank. We got some armor on here. We got good organization. Or soft attacks not too bad. Hard attacks not too bad. Defense is not too bad. And we got enough piercing. So if we do it to fight clones, we should be okay. And keep building, 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 building for the love of God. I do want to tear this up a little bit more. Few succession points. Uh, how are we looking here for this stuff? Not great, but hopefully we'll do regard we'll do well regardless. But you never know. You really never know. Score resources wise, that's slightly better. It's not great. 
Grab one more, maybe. So we can make a few more of these guys. That'd be good. We are just so out of equipment, man. It's not even funny. Oh, over here, screen attack and defense, artillery. We don't have, we don't have any artillery yet. Let's grab that one just in case. That'd be good. And over here. Mm. Never know. You never really just know. Out of that, free volunteer shipyards. The Cal Calamari shipyards have been offered to us by the Karan. If we accept, we will see growth through our navy rather quickly. Three more. Oh, getting more naval doctors will be good and support the Karan struggle. If we support the Quarren struggle, it'll show other planets that we support our allies. This will allow us to test our military might as well. We get more army XP, and they get the Civil War tests, which would be probably not good for them, but probably be good for us. Hey, more divisions. Nice. More battle droids. I'm not really sure how many we're supposed to have, you know, when the war breaks out and such, but... I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, let's do some of this stuff. Uh, let's go base strike. I want as many of that as possible. That'd be good. And land auction? Let's keep doing some land auction too. Cool, cool, cool. What are we currently on? Offensive? Sure, why not? And make sure we got enough planes. Uh, we can never get enough of those. CV, CV, CV. Actually, cast CV. Getting HMP droid gunships would be very good. Cool. And support the struggle. And this one's fighters, fighters, bombers, go to bombers. Do we have any planes we can deploy these guys on? Because we'll count Dooku's world up here-ish. Here. There we go. Oh, we already have too many planes up there anyways. Whatever. Uh, bombers. Yes, that'd be good. And fighters. Just so that our droids have air cover. Because I don't know how many, how much air cover the clones will have, but we will see. Let's go and deploy them up there anyways. Alright, at least we have... Sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of. Two task forces. Um, get a few more ships first. Cool. And let's grab some more of these guys. Yeah, we definitely need to save some money up so we can get to the next tier. There you go. They're heavy cruisers. They're not really, you know, screens, but whatever. Um, I guess just in case, you can do that. That's fine with me. After that, Rift Thompson. Riff Tempson is a great warrior, even able to beat the best Jedi. We must get him under sight to lead our droids of glory, which will probably be a pretty good thing to do. Hey, there they go. Can we help them out, maybe? Yes. Stop training, get out of there, and send the droids to fight. Our first real test, and we have some of this too. Great. Extraction is looking very good, actually. Uh, shipyard output? Yeah, let's grab that one. Refitting cost is okay, just in case. Buy some more. Hey, we can buy some bombers. Finally, we can buy some bombers. Come down here, buy a lot of this stuff. That's maybe what we need, and buy some more. Ah, do we need, do we need to buy more battle droids? We're looking really good on droids for now, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, you can buy that, buy that, buy that, buy that, because you can. Because why not? And pff, Corvettes. There you go, too. Why not? We're spending a lot of money here today. All right, so you guys are actually, yeah, your screen. So there you go. Put one in each. Probably not great, but whatever. And we have our fleet here, so stop training. But where is the ship? Because I do want to throw on... Oh, look, they have a 1,000 already. These bombers, well, we need 560, so... we There you go. Not bad. Pretty awesome. So that fleet will do very, very well over there. Oh, and the Republic is just as technologically strong as we are. So there you go. Go ahead and try that. Oh, they're both repairing, though, right now. Ew. Three. There you go. Cool. And our, our... Yes, our droids are down here. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Go ahead, droids. Show them the mind of the droid army. Yes, yes. A thousand times yes. We need more, way more vulture droids in this stuff. Anything else? Oh, wait, hold on. We just clicked away from it and it popped up. There you go. Bye, 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 bye. We're making more civvies, so that'll be good. Look at that. Hey, convoys are... That's been some. How many men have we lost? None. Karan's lost 7,000. 8,000 versus 52,000. Do you guys have a unique focus tree? Karan. Orbital shipyards. No, sorry. No, they do not. And this side? Neither do they. And these guys are led by King Yos Colina. Nice. Uh, tear this up. I'd love to, but... Oh, wait. Oh, now we've... Ne oh, crap. That's not good. Negative credits is not good. Look, oh, crap. That was bad for me to click on. Consumer goods factors get hit really badly. Oh, we get that stuff for a year. Oh, that's so bad. My bad. Oh, God, no. 
Oh, we're not touching anything then. Oh god, that's so bad. My bad. That was my fault completely. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think we'll be able to get rid of this. We need, what, 20 days? 200 days to get rid of that. So, yeah, we're going to have some penalties here. But it's good to know when, what type of penalties you do have. So, let's go and hold for now. Or just keep going in. It looks like we're doing okay regardless. Oh, we can increase ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, General Grievous, you're not great on defense, but... Of course, okay with whatever you're doing. And Geonosis. In order to better our army, we must take control of Geonosis droid factories. Sounds pretty good to us. Can we get some more free uh, monies? <laughs> we need some monies, please. And baby, they can't pierce us. Oh, man, that was my fault completely. Um, Oh, wait. Oh, we won. Oh, we won. That was really fast. Cool. You can have all this stuff, Dak. Actually, what if? Here we go. How about we take out a loan? Um, outstanding debt. Well, we need more. I don't know, let's go take ten. There we go. Okay, so hopefully, okay, so we don't have that. We got some loans to pay off, so actually, we don't, we won't suffer those penalties, which is actually really good. Did we lose it? We might have actually lost the division. That's not good. Um, because I already know how sort of how things are gonna be split up here. I kind of want to get ready for the Battle of Geonosis. I kind of already want to do that. Uh, are they suffering any sort of supply issues here? Hopefully not. Go ahead and come down here and train. And we will pay off our loans as fast as possible, probably. Base strike is good. Uh, let's do some of that immediately. It's so nice. It's it's actually extremely nice having four research slots. It's such a massive difference having four research slots, what it can do. Oh, uh, it sucks. But, hey, we actually took out some loans, so we're paying one loan. There you go. Outstanding debt. There you go. So Galactic has something that. That looks like that would be ours, but ours is actually down here. 490. It's not great. We can't buy anything else right now, which really sucks, but... It is what it is. <laughs> We're in debt before we can even go to war. God dang it. Uh, the Geonosis and Hive approve his planetary access. The Confederacy of Independent Systems has permitted to build and use factories on the planet. Geonosis to produce arms for the upcoming war. Perfection. And council meeting. This meeting will be the most important one yet. We will This will decide who sides with us and who stays with the Republic. Nice. People are going to join us regardless? Yes, please. Oh, man. Even if we did it, we still have no resources to really use. I mean, we're still going to import some fuel, don't get me wrong, but... Still. Mm. We still need to buy more ships. We'll be okay for now. I just don't like taking out loans. I really hate taking out loans. Even in my own personal life. Let's... 4.26 million is really good, though. That's a lot of money you make every day. If that's a case, let's at least get a few more things of this if we can. There you go. And up, oh, wrong one. This one. There you go. Not too bad. Actually, we can see how many loans people are taking out. Uh, Confederacy, we're taking a few. The Trade Federation. They love loans. Holy crap. That's a lot of loans. <laughs> Where are you guys at? You are here just in case, ready for war. And I don't think Camino's going to join us, but we can try it. Naboo, I'm, I'm not even going to try that one. You guys, you guys. And because actually, once we get this part, through this part of the focus tree, we actually have another focus tree unlocked after this too. So, And then the Raxus Address. Change national focus tree to CIS Civil War. Nations who are on the opposite side of the current government on, on the secession screen will have a civil war, while countries who are on the same side as the government will gain support for that ideology. Way more world tension, a lot more army XP we get Rax's address, and popularity of loyalists goes skyrocketing. Which won't be too bad. Consortium, nice. Right now, let's just keep paying off our loans and buying stuff off. Buying all the stuff that we possibly can. Uh, we're going to wait for this stuff, because with what we have currently, it's not too bad. Uh... We do have to wait a while to get a war, though, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Get more research speed. That'll be good. How's we're making more divisions as well? Are we missing anything yet? Vulture droids, hyena bombers. Um, what's down here south? Oh, we need more fighters and such. Well, that's probably not good. But we made some more divisions, which would be very, very important for us. Now, we don't need that many guys. I'm actually going to cut you down, guys down to three, because I actually want you guys to help. Just make sure that our home world... It will never get invaded. Home defense. It's always good to have a little bit of home defense, right? And we'll use Commander Tactical Droid.
There you go, something like that. Uh, give me one more. Cool, battle droid, thank you very much. Head on over there if you can. Because that, the water army comes out of there uh, to attack Geonosis can be pretty darn strong. Let's just be real. And actually, I want to keep some PP here because we need to keep some PP for what's going to happen. Spoiler, I kind of know what's going to happen. Except after that point, I don't know what's going to happen after that, so. Alright, land auction is still coming along. Support companies, we don't have any yet. That yet. Uh, get some more soft attack. Actually, can we throw on... Oh, we can throw some engineers on. That's not too bad. That gives more entrenchment. It does lower our armor a little bit. But it does give you more breakthrough, which is really actually awesome. A little more soft attack, more defense. I think that's worth it. Do we have enough support equipment? No, we don't. So let's not do that yet. Production-wise, yeah, we're not even making any because we don't have any resources. God dang it. Oh, well, look at all this stuff. I'd rather just buy the ships, to be honest. It's, it's so much easier doing it like that. It's currently on, so... Hmm. Weird. And we currently have 367. We'll still make 4.3 million every single day. Not enough, obviously, but that's okay. Get some more bombers. Bombers are nice. And... Should we be able to buy some more? And then we're going to lower our uh, loan limits. Or the amount of loans we've taken out. Hey, we got rid of all of our loans. Actually, we actually successfully used our loans. The Roxas Address. This new order will serve the people, not corrupt politicians. It will utilize its power and service to good, uninhibited by the self-righteous, tyrannical code. Ryloth the Clear... Oh, Ryloth? Good. Onderon? Oh, look at all these civil wars. The coming war. Uh, begin industrialization, which kind of sucks that we do that now, but as I said, we have an entire new focus tree here to do. Uh, the coming war. Time's rough. War is coming and we are unprepared. We must begin preparations to mobilize our droids, which we kind of already have, so... Ah, Commander Ref Tamsin. Very nice. Actually, the flares can be seen across the galaxy. We will begin to gain power back after the Battle of Geonosis. Oh, boy. How's Geonosis looking? That's actually not looking too bad. Look at that. Oh, we own this state here down here, too. That's actually really cool. And Geonosis is Poggle the Lesser. Do they actually have a unique focus tree? They do not. That's disappointing, but whatever. That's okay. I love owning Central Geonosis. And who's in a civil war? Because we could probably start training now, then. Do you want us to join your wars? I'm, I'm more than willing to come on in and help out. Wow, we get five a day. Jesus Christ, that's so good. I want to help people. Oh, wait, are we? We're not war with Camino, no. Um, anyone else having problems here? Oh, down here, look at this. Can we please join your war, please? They're doing well so far, but you never know what might happen. Alright, so we're doing civilian investments. We're still building ourselves up. We could probably afford to buy a few more of these guys, right? It seems like this is the page we always come to because we always need it. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I wish you just auto-buy every single day. Doesn't seem to do that, though. Good and good. How are our ships? Uh, how are you guys doing? Where are you guys at? There you are. On a carrier, huh? There you go. Go all the way up to 560. Now, this will be a pretty strong contender for uh, naval battles. And we're going to need some more here, too. There you go. Cool. Which just means buy some more. We cannot. Best in was annexed. Alright. And so having two fleets like this is not a bad thing. Just in case, go ahead and stop doing that and just kind of repair for now. We got enough naval XP at the moment. Not always going to be enough, but that's okay. And then we'll have the coming war very soon. Cool. Mobilize the units. Uh, flare scene across the galaxy. Flatter the Cent Separatist Council. Not bad. Form the Separatist Senate. Cool. The flares can be seen, though. CIS tech level increase. Nice. And we get B2 battle droids. Ooh, that's actually better. Vulture, we need way more of this stuff, which we'll always need more of that stuff, but we have how many tanks? Not enough. Wow. Actually, just get them all unlocked because you can. Cool. Alright, and could grab that. Naval Doctrine, let's keep working on the Naval Doctrine because that's going to be key, key, key to our war. The Techno Union seeks to join us. The Techno Union under something of the leadership of Wat Tambor stated that he would be open to joining the Separatist Alliance and supporting them with the Techno Union's war machine. If we allowed him a seat on the Separatist Council, of course. Of course. Yes. 
Absolutely. We're all friendly here, unless you don't want to be part with us. So, uh, that's a case. Uh, I could probably cut this down maybe a little bit more and share the wealth, maybe? No, it won't really do anything for us. That kind of sucks. The Clone Wars begin. There we go. Victory, you say? Master Obi-Wan? Not victory. The Shroud of Dark Side has fallen. Begun the Clone Wars. Has. Cool. Oh. Nice. Beautiful. Ah, uh, so they want to go to war with us, eh? So be it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's not good. So. Oh, wow, look at this. Uh, Ralph is down here, too. Ah, uh, the Battle for Geonosis has begun, my friends. It has begun. Let them escape and push out a little bit further than what they currently have. Because they do have one port there already, so I'll split you guys in half. And then kind of do the same thing from here to invade right there. Send in the ships. Hopefully our ships don't die around here. There you go. Alright, here we go, everyone. We're getting involved. Good, bad, or ugly, we're getting involved. I don't want to go in there because that's a lot of attrition already. So, let's see. Let them spread out. Like I said, let them spread out a little bit more. And attack level increase will happen. Conquer the Techno Union. Nice. Come on in, everybody. And these guys have probably some armor on them, which sucks, but whatever. Cool. And you guys, since you're not doing anything, we actually will probably send you somewhere else to help defend. Uh, what, are, what areas are with us? Uh, some areas are here. Some areas not so much. There's... Doesn't look like there's that much attrition here, so I actually might send you down south then. To help them out for now. Here we are. Um We do have quite a few guys. We might be able to do something here though. Get the battle droids in there. And make sure we got enough tanks. That's kind of my worry that we won't have enough tanks. Elastic defense and mobile infantry. Just get some more organization for our guys. Good, good, good. We only have so many credits, so we gotta do the best we can here. Battle more B2 battle droids. Nice, 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 nice. There you go, more planes. There you go. Can we actually produce them? B2s. No. That kind of sucks. Oh, there we go. Did we get some B2s? There we go. Now, actually, we can maybe throw them onto our divisions. What is that going to look like? Replace them with... Oh, look at all these guys we can use. That's kind of cool. The, all that would do is make them stronger. That's actually really nice. You get same amount of organization, more HP. Yeah, let's do that. How much would that cost us, though? That nah, costs a little bit more. Uh, just reset it. Keep it the way it is for now. I think we'll do okay, regardless. But let's see what happens. Alright, so they pushed out. Yes, they have. Let's go in. Well, when we can, I guess. Guys, can you stop repairing? Why are you repairing so much? Oh, you're up here too. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, stop repairing. Yeah, get out. Stop repairing. Both of you. Get down here immediately. Not bad. Boom, boom. We've, we're trying to land. And we've done it. Alright. I remember doing this as the Mandalorians. But this time, we're going to actually do well. Go, go, go. Flood through there. Flood through there. They will not stop us. Extra gear attachments. Nice, nice, nice. Anything else for industry? Yeah, go right ahead. Over. Look at those run clone divisions. If they can't pierce us, they can't touch us. 3.65. That's definitely less than before, which is not bueno. But, oh, that is... Oh, that's not good. The flares can be seen across the galaxy. <coughs> um... Power of the Senate. In the face of a large shadow. <clears throat> I don't know which way to go. Legitimize the Senate. Open borders. Fair taxation. Anti-corruption initiates. Guarantee of racial equality. Do we want that? Promises of economic equality. Education and outer rim. That looks really good. I hope for better tomorrow. Or loyalty over integrity. Shadow feed propaganda. Extensive militarization. Or corporate contacts. You know what? Let me know in the comments below. Which way should we go? Stage terror attacks, bury any peace talks, a toast to our friends. Should we go with power to the Senate or should we do the face of a large shadow? Please let me know in the comments below. Now we can do an integrated army or the grand droid army. I think we got to go with this one, the grand droid army. Quality droids. Ooh, that's not that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I like that. I like that one a lot. Ooh, this, this looks really good. More defense too. Volunteer forces. Build up of elite forces. Ooh, that's not bad. Get more daily army XP or numbers over quality. Mass assault. 
Uh, that seems okay. Planning, max planning. I think this is better. I want to do a grand droid army. It doesn't matter which way we go because we'll probably win anyways. Because we're usually we usually do okay here. So let me know in the comments below. Should we form the ROII and the phase one focuses for the generic tree? Promises of economic equality, construction speed, mobilize outer rim, or should we build up Raxus? Infrastructure build up, set factories, uh, corporate militarization, Raxus dockyards, as well as long live the Confederacy, which I do like to see as well. But let me know which way we should go for this one, as well as part of the Senate. And you know, I'll leave this up to you guys too. Should you integrate an army or the Grand Droid Army? Please let me know in the comments below. But we're going to form the Separatist Senate first. We will form a Senate to increase the power we have over our people. Absolutely. Look at those convoys we just killed. Oh, we're going to need so much more fuel. Holy crap, this is going to cost us way, 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 way more. That should help offset the cost just a little bit more. Go, go, my droids, go. Where are you guys at? Can you guys push out here at all? You guys actually might be able to, maybe. They're only Bothan spies, or just Bothans. I always call them spies, but whatever. Maybe not. Okay, maybe we can't do anything. Okay, we need more fuel anyways. Uh, how much fuel do these guys use? That's a good question to ask, actually. Fuel usage? They do use a little bit every day, so we need even more then. Oh, well, no wonder we can't get it. We have enough convoys. Oh, this is gonna suck. Um. This is gonna severely impact our ability to wage war then. But maybe once we take a break and we improve ourselves here maybe a little bit more. How are we building for construction stuff? That's not too bad still. Hey, we made it in a circuit. That's pretty good. Well, as long as they can't pierce us, that's the most important thing, right? Yeah, keep going in, boys. Keep going in. Of course, you can't give us what we want. Of course. Now you have enough stuff? Okay, we might seriously... Okay, uh... Conquer... Oh, where's this? Well, we're kind of trying, guys. We're trying. We can't get there just yet, but we're trying. Uh, how many resources do we extract naturally? Ah, that's not really good. Even if we did that one, that wouldn't really help us out too much. Oh, we get some of this too? Nice, 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 nice. And might as well go for the next research speed too. Very good. Keep sinking them convoys. Keep killing them. We're doing a very good job here. Look at the couch sheets. 31. 31. Not even 31,000. 31. Versus... Holy crap, 285,000, not bad yet. We are getting defeated a little bit here and there, but... Actually, this is a core territory that we're fighting on, so... Yeah, good luck to those guys. It doesn't help that we have no fuel, but whatever. And, oh, logistics. Do anything else besides planes? We always need more planes. Cool. And, oh my goodness. You guys just are always up and down. Buy more fuel, come on, get some more fuel. Alpha, what are you learning? Alright, not bad. They're not taking any sort of attrition, which I don't necessarily agree with. But whatever. That's just me, maybe. You guys just keep hanging out. Just keep defending. You're doing an okay job. Let them perish before us. Holy crap. Nice. Form the Separatist Senate. And then, a mobilized movement. The time has come to mobilize our forces. We cannot be defeated. Okay, so maybe stop attacking then. And concentrate our forces here in the center. Because this is literally our core territory. So, do this. Concentrate and get ready to go. Because the more they struggle against us, the less resources they have. And let's stop making so many divisions, because we probably can't afford so many. It's better to have a smaller, very, very good army than anything else. Alright, anything else? That's, that's actually looking really good now. Tanks. We could use a few more tanks, but we're doing okay right now. Uh, anything else here? Artillery. I'm not sure how much that would actually help out, but we can get these two guys. There we go. And then we'll push out. Then we'll push out. Okay. Okay. They're really trying. They are... Just go ahead, then. Just keep going in, then. They are really trying. They can't pierce us, but they can still beat us up quite a bit. As long as we beat this army up, I think we should be able to win the war, because this is... This is one heck of an army. Like, these divisions are actually really, really good. Like, 20 combo with 7 twos, basically. Oh, boy. Help them out right here. There you go. I'd love to tear it up, but... 
Keep building more cities. We need more money. We gotta get more money right now. Don't let them get any convoys in through here. Not looking too bad. Not looking great right now because we are out of fuel. And there's literally nothing we can do about it. Like, every time we try to get more fuel, there's always someone who just says, Oh, sorry. No more fuel here. How are we doing over here? 14 divisions? Not bad. Uh, if we'd even try to attack, we'd run out of fuel quickly too. Uh, we could try, I guess. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. I don't understand how they're not taking any sort of attrition. Especially on our core territory. And we've lost 140, well, 143, I guess. We've killed 300,000 of them off. I'm just going to keep it there for now. Uh, Ryloth, please give us one thing of that. That'd be good. You guys are looking definitely okay down here. Yeah, we're actually we'll win on that planet too, which is nice. Okay. Not bad. Techno Union, nice. If you want to, you can probably lower that one a little bit, just in case. They're still holding out very nicely, but I'm going to assume this is their main army. Oh, wow. Look at that. We lost 15 planes. We exchanged for four Corvettes and such. Nice. But by having this much of a struggle, we're actually getting a lot of experience too, which is good. But extend our reach. In order to protect the free systems that make up the CIS, we must extend our area of operations. To begin, we'll rally your people to gain their support. Sounds pretty normal. Sounds pretty nice, actually. Just in case, let's grab some of this. Cool. I feel like Germany right now in uh, vanilla Hoi 4, just Hoi 4, or just Hoi 4 in real life, just World War 2 in real life, always out of fuel, always, 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 it sucks, resources, or equipment I should say, tanks, always gotta keep an eye on that stuff, medium armor, that's all we need, nope, come on, we can, I know we can win this this battle here, I know, I'm, we're probably actually gonna win here too, so that's actually not too bad, make sure we spread a little bit more so we don't have so much attrition here, that'll be good. Actually, give him orders. I didn't give you orders yet. That sucks. Do not let them escape. For the love of God, do not let them escape. We've already killed off. Like, this is... I think this is their main army. They, they have judicial guards, which I... The Galactic Republic was the first one I played first. But... Yeah. Yeah. These guys are probably the best divisions they have. I mean, except for the AT ATs. The clones are better than the uh, actual tanks. Keep going in. We destroy, like, what? Is it supposed to be, like, 76 divisions down here or 80 or something like that? I don't remember. But it's a, this is a lot of divisions. Who's better, clones or droids? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I've always personally preferred clones, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Still making over one political power every single day. That's not too bad. Let's grab some more tanks just in case. 150 will be very nice. There you go, and there you go, which we always need more fuel, but whatever. Uh, we'll grab some of these a little later, too. You know, since we're here, let's grab some droids. Nice. Because I want to build up a nice stockpile, then unleash them against our enemies. Wow, this guy's gone all the way up to level skill 9, and he can get to 30 divisions here. Look at this. Oh, it's so good. Keep going, keep going. Rescue our areas here. Rescue, 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 rescue. Extend reach, and set up base on Rusan. That'd be nice. Axe is Bo's Pity. We, I do want to do that, but let's wait to do that. Flatter the Separatist Council. $500 million to the corporations. Let's do begin industrialization. We are beginning to industrialize the Confederacy. Nice. How many more do you want to lose, Republicans? Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at how many divisions are stuck here. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so nice. I'm glad someone made the Star Wars mod for Hoi 4. I, I, I think it was one of the past as well, but I'm glad someone has decided to do it again. I don't know if the old ones still work online or not, but I don't know. I have no idea. Grievous? Uh, oh, yes. Logistics Wizard, yes. Max Bunny would not be bad. Let's get some more attack, though. Okay, throw a planner, too. Mobile infantry and mass motorization. Make you guys even stronger. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Crush them droids. Ah, uh, unleash the droid army. But we got to keep an eye on everything else here. Uh, that's not too bad. We, we're going to need a lot more tanks, though. And that's fine with us. That's totally fine. As, as I play this mod more and more, I, I get a little bit more and more used to how the mod really runs and functions. So it's... Oh, that's that's so sad. It's completely surrounded. No hope of escaping. There is, like, over 20 divisions here. There's 16 divisions here. Like, this is sad. The first battle the clones are in, they are just getting demolished. 41 divisions here. 
41. 50 divisions in total here. Oh, good God, this is nice. My friends, we've done it. We've inflicted tremendous losses on the Galactic Republic. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will slowly conquer the rest of the galaxy in the name of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.